Hey everybody, it's Ruth the Traveling Quilter. I just got back to my home yesterday about 8.30 p.m. My GPS said it was a 11 hour drive, but there was a time change from Eastern time to Central time, so it was a 12 hour drive. Um, it was clear skies all the way, a little on the chilly side. I think it started out at 28 degrees when I left, got up to about 50, and then back down to about 30 when I got home and then it was in the 20s overnight again my backyard my oranges are all on the ground um, maybe 12 are left on the tree since the chill came but those oranges may have been down for a while and nobody wanted to pick them so nobody got orange juice but i got home and i have mail i miss getting mail that i got my last two issues of block magazine from missouri star quilt company and there are 10 projects in each one. I like getting these because, you know, a pattern can run you $10 if you're not using free patterns. But with the subscription, you get 10 patterns a month. Some of them I like, some of them I don't, but I still have yet to look through these because I didn't do anything last night except lay down when I got home. So I'll look through these after a while. And then I also got a box from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. I know what's in here. It's the end of bolt box. All I've done so far is open the ends. I'm going to open it and we're going to see together what's in this end of bolt box. I've always been happy with what I've gotten from my end of bolts. I know sometimes some people aren't so happy, but it's a mystery. So, you know, a mystery is a mystery. You get what you get. You never know who done it till the end. So let's see here. If I knew how to use scissors, these are not my good scissors. We do not run with good scissors, you know. Let's see. Oh, and there's a piece of tape right there. Put that off. Okay. Let me get a drink here before we get in here. Diet Coke. We don't do coffee. Somehow I work night shift no do coffee. Look right on top. I've got a check. Let me show you. And they've got this package so good. They've got packing tape on top of packing tape here. I guess they weren't planning on it going anywhere. I was tracking this package. So it went from Missouri. It went down towards Nashville. It went to Atlanta. Not the most direct route here, but it gets there. So I got the um, cell phone check. Thank you, Lily, on the back. They always write a little note on there. Not always, but most of the time there's a little note there. And I have all of these. So far, I like what I see. It's not all the same. So let's see what I've got here. I'm just going to pull a few of them out, and then we'll see what they are. So I've got a solid blue. That's probably a Kona. That's probably close to the color of the year. And that's about, oh, get my inches here. So 12 inches, there, and they're with the fabric. And then I've got a batik. It's a white with a blue gray and a brown. Solid black. Always like my solids. That's a big piece. That's half a yard. A little more than a half a yard of that one. And I was just saying I need to make more quilts with darker backgrounds. I'm good at making white backgrounds and white backgrounds and cream backgrounds and white backgrounds. <laughs> and then there is a piece of brown. So that one is more than half a yard. It's a little wrinkly, but that will iron out. Oh, this one's cute. It's little dinosaurs. It's not too big, but this Age of the Dinosaurs from Catherine Quinn. And that's probably about 10 inches there. These are just estimates. And then, see, we've got one. Oh, this is Barbie. It's Barbie shoes, you know. Barbie, everybody's watching that Barbie movie. I haven't watched that yet. I only had one Barbie when I was younger, and I had a PJ. I got a skipper first. The skipper disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. Brothers, if you're watching, where's my skipper doll? But I only had two Barbies. I didn't have a Barbie dream house. My mother made me Barbie clothes. I wasn't deprived. I just didn't get them. They weren't necessary to have that many Barbies. My mother thought my granddaughter's got a huge room full of Barbies. Okay, Barbie shoes. Half a yard of Barbie shoes. Um, there's one I probably won't use, but I know some people love that. It's deer. It's deer. I do love seeing deer, but I don't have anybody that uses deer fabric or anything. I was in um, South Dakota this past year, worked there for three months, and I had deer in my backyard. I could open my sewing room window and see the deer. And I'd look for them. I was sad when I didn't see them, but they was always about the same time of day they would always show up. A whole family of about six. Okay, we have 
bats. I love Halloween fabric. This one's Moda. Deb Strain, Moda. There's a good half yard of that. Greetings. Ghostly Greetings. I think it's Ghostly Greetings. It's some kind of ghost doing some kind of greeting. There, I've got a piece of that white solid. We won't measure that. And then there's another piece of the brown. Let's see, is it the same brown? I don't think it's the same brown. This is a heavier, a different kind of texture. And then I've got a solid mint, a solid lavender. That's a big piece. That is three quarters of a yard, a darker lavender. Let's see. We have a gray. That feels like a big piece of gray, too. That is probably three quarters of a yard. Gray. Gray's a good basic. Added this to all my other basics. I can get one of those quilts done that's all solid colors. <laughs> Let's see. Solid orange. Solid chartreuse. But that one is a batik. I think a batik pile over here. And there's a blue batik, looks kind of a native print, an aboriginal kind of print. I'm not sure what those are. This is, let's see, who is that? In the beginning, dragons. I think it says dragons, maybe. I can't read that whole salvage edge, but that's three quarters of a yard. Oh, here's a big rose. That one is three quarters of a yard. This is Andover Fabrics. Oh, laundry basket. This is a laundry basket. See, I don't use a lot of her stuff, but I like her. I like watching her videos. And there is a more of a beige with a little cream check print on it. That's a big, that's a big piece. That's over 18 inches. 18 plus, that's 28 inches. Give or take. That could almost be a solid. And then there's more of another solid green. Solid purple, solid gray. I'm in the solid. And there's a darker green, a tealish kind. Let's see, here's a green with some little daisy print. And that's a big piece too. That's a little more than a half a yard. Who's that one? Feed Sex, Good Works, Lindsay McCray for Moda. So a nice Moda piece. That'll go with a lot of other Moda fabrics that I have. There's two. I first looked and thought they were about the same, but they're not. One's, they're di totally different flowers. Totally different. I see something else in there I like. But look, this is my Lori Holt. That's B Vintage. You know, if you've watched my previous videos, I got a whole bunch of Lori Holt like Christmas. So this can add to my Lori Holt stash because her lines all go together. Usually if you get the same designers, um, their lines kind of flow from one to the other and you can kind of mix and match them. So that goes in a whole different Lori Holt pile. But then here's a green. That's a big piece of green. And this one is Be In My Bonnet, Lori Holt. I told you they were kind of the same. It's another, um, another Lori Holt and that is big that's 18 plus that's another about 28 inches so that can go to my Lori Holt pile so is everybody staying warm it's cold in Florida today too so I'm going to meet some of my friends for lunch that I haven't seen for at least three months some I haven't seen for over a year just because of schedules but we're going to eat um, lunch at one of the restaurants on the beach that's just right here in my neighborhood we were going to try to go out on the beach but I don't know I'm going to have to wear the sweatshirts it'll be warmed up by lunch okay Northcott this is a smaller piece it's a little crooked but that's not very much of that about a quarter of a yard Speaking of bees, if I had bees in my bonnet, here I have bees. Bees, bees, bees. A little green with little bees. Little green, little bees. And this is Riley Blake. Um, what does that say? What does that say? Homemade by Echo Park Paper Company. It's got a really cute salvage edge with little flowers. I guess that's for the 
for the bees. Flowers for bees. Need to save our bees. Don't have bees. Don't have honey. Don't have a lot of things. Bees pollinating all of our plants. And there's a bright pink. Bright pink. Um, it's a Andover fabric. Something blossom. Some kind of blossoms. Half a yard of that. No, that's quarter yard. Quarter yard. I still got a whole other line of stuff here. I hope you like these unboxings. If you do, put in the comments. I know I like watching um, unboxings. So put in the comments if you like those. There is a blue purple. That's gonna that's gonna be a half a yard of that. Yep. I think this box was a hundred and nineteen dollars in shipping, but um, it was actually my birthday month. So if you fill out um, at least on Missouri Star, you fill out your information. Um, I got fifteen dollars off a sixty dollar order, so I got fifteen dollars off of this box. And there's a solid three quarters yard kind of a, a beige with a little white swirl. Oh, this this says granddaughter on it. Little granddaughter. I have granddaughters from Little. Her birthday was yesterday. Said she was seven. Happy birthday, Aubrey. I see you. And then my other granddaughter, she, my oldest granddaughter, not just other, the oldest one, she was 23 on New Year's Day. Her birthday's a 10101. Hey, Morgan. And then Abigail's in there, too. I think, is that all the granddaughters? I didn't miss any granddaughters. There's grandsons, too. Hey, boys. Bunch of, bunch of wild boys. So I've got unicorns. That screams Aubrey with all of her Barbies. So that's a Northcott. That would make a nice pillowcase. Last pillowcases I made them. I may have said that before. I made pillowcases. They got them right away. Did sack races. Didn't put them in the pillows. The boys, the girls. But of course the fabric I used for the big boys was Nacho Libre fabric. So I guess they thought wrestling and sack races was included. Oh, there's a solid, solid, beige-ish, a beige -ish solid. Oh, and there's a purple batik, just a little marbly. Batik. That feels batik. That feels like a big piece. Is that a batik? No, that's not a batik. But it is a big piece, kind of a paisley, half yard of a paisley. Northcott, Stonehenge. Linda, I'm going to butcher this name. Ludovico? Ludovico. L U D O V I C O. Butchered that name, didn't I? Sorry, Linda. We're piling up here. Oh, this is a really big piece. This looks like a cheater. No, is it? Yeah. That looks like a big cheater place. That's Moda, Creative, Courage, Henry, Maltese. So, that's a big piece. But that's a... Yeah, that could be a back of something. be a nice pillow. You can't cut that up into little pieces. I guess you could. And it would look like you had totally different fabric. But... That's enough for like two pillows. So I like that one. Let's put it over to the side here. I got a lot of put over to the side. What's this? Roosters. Everybody's got chickens anymore. You have to with the price of eggs. At least the price of eggs has gone down. But that is well over, that is well over a half a yard. We got roosters of every kind. Elizabeth's Studio. Elizabeth Studio. Pattern number 601 if you like a whole bunch of roosters. Which ones do you like best so far? Let me know. Sometimes I'm up for a trade. If there's something I've got that you want. Sometimes I'm up for a trade. There's some light blue. But if you're up for a trade, I gotta know fast because I leave here on Wednesday to head to the, the Great Southwest. I was going to have something to show you so you could kind of guess where my first stop's going to be, but my box that I ordered, that has not come in yet. It should be here in the next couple of days, hopefully before I leave. And I'll have another box up until my mother's sending me something. Let's see. Gustav Clement, Robert Kaufman. This is a gold, like a sparkly gold, little mosaic tiles looking pretty. I don't know what I would actually use it for, but it's pretty. 
there's just a little piece of green. I think this is the smallest piece I've had. Just a little north cut. A little uh, pattern. <laughs> Celtic. It's Celtic in the middle of it. Only six inches of that. That is the smallest piece in this box. Oh, there's a cream with some flowers. Oh, as I said, the smallest piece. I got this big piece and I got this little piece. Same thing. So that's probably five or six inches of that. Five inches of that. And then a big piece of the same thing. That's a moda. Nice moda. Creativity takes courage. Okay, it does. I'm a pattern follower. I'm a good pattern follower. There's a solid blue, a solid brown. Here's a little baby lullaby, gray with like moons and stars, with little sleeping moons and stars. I don't have any new babies for once. Tell my next son don't start. One son has a bunch of kids. My daughter's kids are all too old. Oh, I do have a new baby coming. I do have a new baby coming, but I'm already working on something for her. She'll be here in February sometime. I do have one. We'll have to make some other things. Solid white. A solid turquoise, but that more is of a linen. That's a linen feel. Another solid brown. I don't know if it matches. It's lighter than all my other solid browns so far. A gray batik, a big piece of blue-gray batik, dun, dun, keeps on going. So almost a half yard of that. And, oh, there's still more. A solid green, that's kind of a small piece. And another solid gray that doesn't match any of the other solid grays I got. That's the end of that box. So like I said, I have something else coming. My mother's sending me, but it's actually mine. With all my traveling around, I had something that was coming from Missouri Star. I had a quilt. I took it in in July, June or July. I took it in. I was close enough that I was able to stop several times at Missouri Star this summer. I took it in and they quilted it. And then I was in South Dakota, but it was gonna be done just as I was leaving. And you need to have a signature um, to receive your quilt. Well, my son lives here in my house in Florida, but he works, but he's, he works from home and he works. He's got a top secret job. Can't tell about his top secret job, but I had it sent to my mother's house. She's home all the time. She and my brother, somebody would pick it up there. So she's had that since September and she's mailing it to me. It should be coming up here. But, you know, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. Ring the bell so you get notifications. Let your quilting friends know. Um, plan to be doing some sew-alongs. Um, I've got an interview coming up on Monday. It'll be exciting. You'll, you'll like, really want to see this if you want a chance to win something big. It's a chance that you could win. But I'm home at my sewing studio here for just a couple of days. Um, I got my bigger machine here instead of my little traveling machine. It's in my it's in my bag, and the bag is still in the car. We got to get that car unloaded so I can regroup. I think I need to get rid of some clothes so I can take more fabric with me to work on. Um, but let me know what you'd like to see. Do you want to see more traveling? You want to see more quilting? You want to see more shops and places? A combination of all of them. So like and subscribe. Tell me what you like out of this box. Is there anything you see that you really need? Maybe maybe we can make a little trade if you want to. So call me. See you next time. Bye.